Hello, this is a demo about the migration tools provided by iAspire Systems for the progress to SQL Server migration. First of all, I'd like to mention that iAspire Systems provides tools and services for automating the databases and applications migration processes for a variety of conversion directions. The list of tools supplied for such kind of automation is as follows. SQL Ways Exe command line tool that can be run in batch mode and can perform the automatic conversion of the database using the ODBC connection or the database and the application code provided in scripts. SQLways Wizard, a GUI tool that is designed to simplify the database conversion process. Tuning for the SQLways command line tool works with the source database using the ODBC connection. SQLways Studio, a GUI tool that is designed to simplify the database or application script conversion process tuning for the SQLways command line tool works with one script at a time. SQLways Commander, a GUI tool that is designed to simplify the database or application scripts conversion process tuning for the SQLways command line tool works with several scripts at a time. In this demo, I will show you the progress to SQL Server migration using SQLways Wizard, SQLways Studio, and SQLways Commander tools mentioned in the list provided. First, let's start from the SQLways Wizard. This is a tool that can connect to this progress database using the ODBC connection only. So, to migrate from progress to SQL Server database, Unity provides the ODBC DSN for progress on the Choose a Source Database page. Also, you need to specify a user and a password with the appropriate rights for making selects from system tables from progress. On the Choose a Target Database page, you need to choose the target database from the list of the supported databases. As you can see, the SQL Server database is specified here. Also, you need to provide other credentials for the SQL Server database for support of definitions and data load using native utilities of this database. All the objects that SQLways manages to extract from the progress database, it depicts in a tree view on the specified database objects or query page. Here you can select all the objects required for the migration. After that, you can specify different options for automatic progress to SQL Server conversion, like options that controls schema name conversion, reserved words conversion, data type types conversion, identifier names conversion, and etc. Also, there are options that can help you to run the definitions and data migration in separate processes. On the Specify Export File Options page, you need to provide the directory, which serves as an intermediate repository for the whole migration process and stores all the automatically generated files like SQL files, with the converted definitions of the objects, text files with the data prepared to be loaded into the target database, BAT or SH files with the commands for native utilities to load both definitions and data on Windows or on Unix-like OS. All the progress to SQL Server migration process is performed in two steps. Each of them has separate login information. For the export process, there are provided a SQL Waste log file with information about the objects read from the source, from the progress database, their number, number of rows of data, the size of the data breach table extracted, number of lines of code per each business logic object, at the end of the export log file, there is provided a summary information per each object type regarding the number of objects, the common size of data, number of rows of data or lines of code, 
depending on the object type. The export status regarding whether there were any failures or no during the export process and the total information for the whole database export. Similar information, but in more readable format, is provided in the SQL Waste Report HTML file. There is a summary table with a complete export status and statistics for each object type. And there are also tables with a list of objects and more detailed statistics for each object extracted from Progress database. As for the import process, SQLWaze generates a SQLWaze IMP.log file for the import into the SQL Server database that contains information about what object is being loaded and whether there are any issues during the import process or no. Now let's turn to the SQLWaze Studio and SQLWaze Commander tools that are designed for database scripts and application scripts conversion purposes. In SQLWaze Studio, to convert from Progress to SQL Server, all you need to do is to provide the conversion direction using the source and target options. Place the source progress code to the left pane of the tool and run the conversion. At the bottom of the tool you can see the log of the conversion process that shows if there are any errors during the script conversion from Progress to SQL Server database. After the conversion you can compare both source and target scripts in tool side by side for your convenience. In SQLOS Commander, there are also two panes which give you the opportunity to specify the file or files or the whole directory for the conversion. So, to convert from Progress to SQL Server, you just specify the source and target. from the list of supported databases. Specify the files for conversion and click Run. When you specify the directory for the conversion, you also need to provide the template for files that you would like to convert from Progress to SQL Server database and provide a target directory. At the bottom, there is generated the conversion log with information about conversion issues, if any. After the conversion, by double-clicking the file in the source and in the target directory, you can review the conversion results side-by-side side like in SQLway Studio. OK, this is all information I've got for this demo. The information about the peculiarities for progress to SQL Server migration and the information about other tools that Aspire system provides for the database migration support will be described in our next demos. Thank you very much for your attention. Bye.